to our students, parents, guardian, school administrator, faculty, and staff, good day. Welcome to the virtual commencement exercises of the grade 6 students and moving up ceremony of the grade 10 students of St. Christopher Montessori School of Santa Rosa. Incorporation for the academic year 2019-2020. Please pause for a moment of silence as we glorify and thank the Almighty God to be followed by the National Anthem, SCMS Vision Mission Statement, Philosophy and Core Value. Let us all pause for a moment of silence and feel the presence of God. Almighty Father, we glorify your holy name. We ask for your forgiveness for all our sins and shortcomings. We thank you for our lives and for our safety, for our health, for our families and loved ones. Our loving Father, bless us with wisdom and strength as we fulfill your will. For all of us, guide and protect us always, increase us in faith, to always hope that even in times of difficulties, you'll always help us to get through. O oh Lord, we entrust to you our every prayer in our hearts. Amen. St. Christopher Montessori School is an educational institution committed to the development of young individuals' knowledge, skills, and personality to make them agents of positive and productive changes in the society. Mission SMS aims to form students with essential knowledge to cope up with higher studies, to identify and to develop skills as a foundation for living and working in the community, and to strengthen a positive personality reflecting joy, peace, and love to one another. Philosophy St. Christopher Montessori School believes that students are to be given learning opportunities that would help them acquire essential knowledge, develop skills, and mold personality through the tutelage of its teachers and the school's programs beneficial to the goals of the community and the whole country. The students are also aimed to embody SMS's core values, core values, competence, service, character. Hail St. Christopher, our beloved and humble alma mater, sing with hope and joy. As you raise your banners, glory through our labor and overwhelming victory. From our knowledge to our skills and our personality. As well, and let us all victorious be. 
hail Saint Christopher, our beloved and humble Alma Mater, sing with hope and joy. As you raise your banners, glory through our labor and overwhelming victory. As we face the world outside, we have courage from the through your teachings and love and the Lord's grace from above. Hail Saint Christopher, our beloved and humble Alma Mater, sing with hope and joy. As you raise your banners, glory through our labor and overwhelming victory. Hail Saint Christopher, our beloved and humble Alma Mater, sing with hope and joy. As you raise your banners, glory through our labor and overwhelming victory. Hail SEMS, Hail SEMS, Hail May peace amidst the uncertainties of today be with you all. To the graduates and students being recognized today, I salute you. In the milestone you have achieved this school year 2019-2020, we surpassed all odds considering the prevailing pandemic. Let us join hands in championing the nation's future by ensuring continuity of education. Let us embrace the new normal of the educational system and ensure our children's future. Indeed, the Divine Spirit will protect us and guide us as we venture in today's world. Congratulations, graduates and students. You dedicated your time, treasure, and talent. Rip the fruits of your labor. Once again, congratulations. Let us now have the graduates of the academic year 2019-2020 and their awards from grade 6 ORCHIDS at grade 6 Euphorbia, together with their advisors.
school president, Mr. Sofronio Fallier, to our school principal, Mr. Christopher Fallier, to the school administration, to St. Christopher Montessori School of Santa Rosa Teaching Force, Finance and Non-Teaching Department, to our beloved parents and friends, especially to my fellow graduates, a pleasant morning to all. 
I hope that you are all safe and may this message find you well. For in these trying times, just being well is a huge blessing to have. Saying that this pandemic has affected our lives is an understatement because this pandemic has immensely disrupted many aspects of our society and its crippling effects may reach even those that are inconceivable. Being given the chance to touch other people's minds and hearts with a speech like this is a huge honor to me. With that, I would like to leave you with three key points. Have hope, be grateful, and pay it forward. First is to have hope. Witnessing a pandemic at a young age made me feel and experience a lot of things. At first, I was a little worried when the school year was shortened. We might also contemplating on the same thing. That is, whether or not our graduation will still push through. The thought of marching and getting up on the stage to receive our diplomas and awards may have given us excitement, but such excitement was taken away when we received a message late March that the graduation rights will be postponed following the DOH guidelines on mass gathering. But there is a light at the end of the tunnel, and sometime in June, we received the good news for all of us graduates. Amidst this pandemic, it was announced that we will be having our graduation. A virtual graduation to be exact. Sounds new to me, but I cannot seem to hide my excitement. To see a glimmer of hope, despite everything that is happening. Indeed, God is good all the time. If we can cling on to something, let us cling on to hope. Have hope that we will surpass the challenges that we are going to face. Secondly, be grateful. People say that problems are a part of life, but if you have Jesus in your heart, you experienced peace. Let us thank God for giving us the strength and wisdom that we need in order to survive in this changing world. Moreover, let us not forget the sacrifices of our mentors, our dear parents. Thanks for their unfailing love, that no matter how busy they are, we are really nurtured and cherished. Let me share to you one memorable experience with my parents. It was during a competition held in 2015. Before the competition begins, I experience a headache. I don't know if it was due to the overwhelming emotion brought about by that contest, but at that point, I told my mama, Mama, hindi ko na kaya, ayoko nang sumali. But my mama held my hand and said, Kaya mo yan. We prayed. And at that moment, I felt relieved. I am blessed that I had been raised by such a loving and caring environment. Suffering is evident in this world more than ever. But an article I have read made me look at it from a different perspective. It stated there that we cannot avoid suffering, we cannot avoid pain, but we are given the opportunity to choose what and who are we willing to suffer for. And I thank God that I can face my problems with the help of my loved ones, especially my parents. When the peace of Christ rose in our hearts, Thankfulness overflows even the darkest of times. We can praise God for His love, His sovereignty, and His promise to near us when we call. Psalms 145 verse 18 If you can watch this message with a computer and a stable internet, a roof over your head, a full stomach, and good health, then you are one of the blessed people in this world. For the little and big things in our everyday lives, let us always be grateful. Lastly, pay it forward. When you ask God for a pandesal and He decides to give you a burger, be thankful and pay it forward. Just like how we are given the opportunity to be educated in these difficult times, 
in a world where education seems to have become a privilege rather than a right. Be grateful and pay it forward. As our theme for this end of school year writes, Solong Edukalidad, Championing the Nation's Future. I encourage my fellow graduates to pursue our passion, our goals, and aspirations. May the things that we are dealing with today become not a block in our path, but a stepping stone towards a more resilient, more responsible, and more empathetic generation of Filipinos in the future. I hope that we will continue to uphold the knowledge, skills, and core values that we have acquired and have honed in this great institution, the St. Christopher Montessori School of Santa Rosa. We will be entering the next chapter in our lives, and in order to succeed, we must champion the battles ahead of us. Even if the road may be steep, do not be discouraged. A very famous proverb says, Fall down seven times, stand up eight times. It reminds us to be resilient in any obstacles we are facing. More importantly, we must also think of other people because at the end of the day, piliin mong maging mabuti kaysa maging magaling. Let us turn our passion into compassion. Make helping others our goals and aspire for a better future for this nation. Let us not forget to have hope, be grateful, pay it forward. Thank you for all the memories, friendships, and encouragement SMS. It was an amazing journey. Thank you very much and may the blessings of God be with us. Let us now have the completers of the academic year 2019-2020 and their awards from grade 10 Aguinaldo and grade 10 Luna, together with their advisors.
President Mr. Safranya M. Falier, School Principal Sir Christopher G. Falier, Sir John E. Panglinan, our Assistant Principal, teachers, parents, and graduates, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. It is truly a great honor for me to speak here today on behalf of my fellow graduates. Honestly, I don't know whether to feel happy or sad today knowing that this is the last time we will all be together as SEMS students. Who could ever forget the failures and disappointments we've encountered along the way? The classes and teachers worth remembering. The ridiculous adventures that brought trinkles to our teachers, especially to our advisors. The pranks we played on each other. And of course, the unity and love that we showed to each other. It has been a four memorable years for me here, and parting is such sweet sorrow. But we have to face the reality. And as much as we would like to stay in the safety and comfort of our alma mater, we must now begin another chapter in our lives. Fellow graduates, let us not forget the struggles we face and the significant lessons in life that we have learned during our education process no matter how dark and hurtful the past was. Let us bear in mind that these are our foundation in building a better version of ourselves. And despite all the challenges, there's a lot to be thankful for. Personally and sincerely, thank you all for being part of this wonderful and meaningful journey. On behalf of every student here, I would like to express my sincerest gratitude to all the teachers we've had in the past years. You were the candles that light the way. Thank you so much for using your precious time and wisdom for us. Thank you for being so patient and keep answering my never-ending questions. And to the great ten advisors, Sir Arjim and Teacher Michelle, thank you for all your support, love, and trust you have given us. And to my family, Daddy, Mommy, Ate, Mama, Tatay, and Inang, thank you so much for the laughter, tears, comfort, patience, care, and love. I doubt if I've been able to face the challenges if it were not for you. Today, I pay tribute to them for being my pillars of strength for always believing in me when others did not, and for encouraging me that I can do all things with their help and support. Also, I would like to take this opportunity to thank all the parents who have given me a ride, who have welcomed me into their homes, who have allowed their children to, to be in my company, and who have given me words of advice and encouragement. Thank you po, especially sa parents Nina Freya and Rasha. And to all my classmates in Aguinaldo, especially to my friends, Freya, Rasha, Arvin, Paul, Senen, First John, and Angelo. Thank you all for being part of my high school life and for all the unforgettable memories. Thank you for sticking with me, for believing in me when I didn't believe in myself, and for having my back all the time. You all made high school life a lot more bearable. Above all, I would like to thank God for guiding me all throughout everything for hearing and answering my prayers, and most especially, for blessing me with superb people who continue to provide me the guidance to do what is just and right. All awardees deserve to be here with me. But for those who will graduate without the benefit of one of the many awards given out today, be assured that the absence of these graduation ornaments will not disqualify you from the real race of life. Success is not measured by awards. It is knowing that you have gone out of your comfort zone, took the risk, conquered, and opened new paths. Every time you know you have defined the odds, you know you have been immensely rewarded. This moving up ceremony is a great manifestation of the hard work, sweat, and tears we've invested in our education. Let us congratulate each other for overcoming those challenges and for being able to reach this far. Once again, congratulations to all the graduates of this school year 2019-2020. God bless us all.